Today, uh, we continue to study uh, Greek grammar, relative clause. Uh, as you look at here screen in our textbook, uh, relative clause is a subordinate clause that begin with a relative pronoun, such as who, whose, or which in English. So relative clause, clause is the sentence that include the subject and verb. And then relative clause, uh, which is a relative pronoun, because relative clause doing the function of the pronoun. At the same time, uh, relative clause modifies the words that it mentioned in the sentence. So it has the role of the adjective also. At the same time, uh, relative clause uh, doing the role of the conjunction because it is connecting. So it is analyzing a sentence. It is important to identify which words belong to the relative clause. Uh, we practice uh, translation. Uh, the example is the John chapter 4, verse 22. Uh, let's go there again. John chapter 4, verse 22. Uh, English translate, you worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. So let's go to uh, look at the original text on the right side. This is a John chapter 4, verse 22. Humes proscunate ho. So this is the APR, which is the relative clause that we are studying. Accusative, neural, singular. So English put the what, or we can do which, either or, what is good, either or, because this is a neutral singular. So second person plural, nominative, this is the subject. That's why English say you worship. So VIP, present, so you worship, what? So until here, Greek text and English text is the same, which is good translation. And then the other part is not correct. When you look at the, this is the New King James, and then the below here is the King James Bible. But uk oidate, look at the oidate. The parsing code is a B I R A, verb indicative present perfect. English translate present which is no, but this is a present perfect, which means you have known. Then negative, right? So you have not known, right? Mm -hmm. It is already perfected. Action is perfect, not the present. So last class, I was explaining about how can we understand the tense in the Bible? Then I introduce about the past, future, and present. And this is not the present. This is the present perfect. So you do not know is the incorrect translation. You have not known. They already perfected no knowledge. And then we know and here it says we know, but as you see here, first person plural. So plural concept is we translate now we, my living, right? And then also second person plural, we translate your living, right? So my living, worship. You see? Verb indicative present. Present man. My living becomes the present man. Present man is the kingdom of the God. Present man is the one who full knowledge, born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus, right? That's the present, present man. My living is the present man. Same thing, what? Same relative clause here, right? Same as here, right? Mm -hmm. You see here, B-I-R-A, you see, B-I-R-A, 
There is no negative, here has the negative. So, what my living have known, right? So not what we worship. Again, incorrect translation, right? My living have known. So then my living has the full knowledge. So I am a present man, so I am able to worship. That's what it means, right? And then hoti, which means for or because. The salvation. Salvation is, verb is right here. Salvation is nominative. This is a subject. This is a verb. Of the Jews. It is not of, right? Ek is the out of. Which means starting point, right? Starting point. Let's go look at the dictionary. 1537. So ek is out, and then we do not translate as from because from is the another preposition apo, and we are going to study uh, uh, another chance. So out of place, time, or cause, right? And then denoting what? Origin. So original place, original time, original cause, and then you are starting from that original place and out. Get out from the place. Get out of the time, get out of the uh, cause. That's the out of, okay? So I put out of, out of. Then we can uh, translate your living worship, what your living have not known. My living worship, what my living have known for Salvation is out of the eudaios, which is the plural. And then as I, uh, uh, as we studied last class on this verse, and then we're talking about worship is the matter of knowledge. If you do not have a knowledge of the God, you cannot worship. That's why in order for us to become a true worshiper, which is talking about verse 23 right here, true worshiper, my status has to be what? My status has to be in spirit, in truth. That is talking about the second day man, la stera, life-giving spirit, who is in spirit, who is in the truth of God. So then, who is the one make us not worship the God? Who prevent us to be in spirit, to be in the truth of God? About the one, we can go to the Second Corinthians chapter four, verse three. Even if our gospel is failed, it is failed to those who are perishing, who are destroying. What is veiled? Gospel. What is the gospel? I say many, many times, right? Even last class also. Born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus, all those things is the story of the gospel. Gospel is the euangelion, if you look at the right side. You is good, well, Angelion is the message, good message. So Jesus Christ is born in 2024 years ago. Crucified, resurrected, went to the heaven. Is that the good message to you? That's just the things happening, right? That things happening has to happen in where? In my story, in my life. Because that is the spiritual processing. Bible is the spiritual book. Since that is the spiritual processing, that's why gospel is veiled. 
to those who are perishing. Then what and who make veiled? Who make the veil the gospel? Who's mind the God of this age? God of this age make blind. God of this age veil the gospel. So do not believe. Born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, that happened in 2024 years ago. You don't have to believe about that. Everybody heard the story. Every human being in this planet, you can tell them, hey, what is the December 25th that people celebrating? Oh, whether they are believer or not, they say, oh, we know that that's the day we entire this planet is celebrating the born of Jesus. You don't have to believe about that. But the things happening, the process in spiritual processing that happening in my life, you have to believe that. Until we have the knowledge, the gospel is veiled. Least the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. In order for me to believe, in order for the gospel is fully manifested, the light of the gospel has to shine. Where? In my heart. That's why here, Apostle Paul say, we do not preach ourselves, but Christos Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, yourselves, your bond servant, for Jesus' sake. It is the God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. Where he say that? Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 say that God commanded the light to shine out of darkness because Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 the earth is fully dark darkness status right who has a shine in our heart to give light of what light of knowledge gospel to receive the gospel is the to receive the light to receive the light is the to receive the light of the knowledge then God of this age, the Satan and serpent, is the one who block it, who stop the light that shine in my heart. The knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. We have this treasure. This treasure is the light. This treasure is the light of the knowledge. This treasure is the gospel that happening in my life. There is that treasure. About the treasure, we can go to, we have this treasure in earthen vessels, right? In my heart, earthen vessel is in my heart. We have this treasure. So what is the treasure? We can go to the Colossians chapter two. Start from verse two. Their heart may be encouraged, being knit together in love, attaining to all Riches of the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of what? Knowledge of what? Mystery of God. What is the knowledge of mystery God? Mystery of God? Christ. In Christ are hidden all the treasure of what? Wisdom and knowledge. So light is the gospel. Light is the knowledge of the God. Light is the Christ who is the wisdom of God, knowledge of God, image of God. Now this I say, least anyone should deceive you, who with persuasive words. Who are the ones deceive you? We just look at that, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. God of this age is deceiving you, right? So we are not able to believe. We are able to just know 2024 years ago, Jesus was born, crucified, resurrected, went to the heaven. Who? No one has the idea when he's coming back. But we know that it is an alpha omega process that happening spiritually inside me that called the seven days process. Then God of this age, how can deceive you? We went to the second Corinthians chapter 11, right? 
I fear lest somehow as the serpent deceive Eve, as the serpent deceive all believers, human beings. How? Preaching the another Jesus. Talking about different spirit, which is the demon spirit, unclean spirit. And then talking about different gospel, which means understand the Jesus Christ as the history man. That thing's happening 2,024 years ago. Then without knowing the truth of God, without receiving the Holy Spirit, the gospel is failed. God of this age make them blindness. So go back to the 422 here. So in order for us to worship presently here, then true worshiper is the one who saved, right? Who saved. That's why salvation. The salvation is out of the Judaeus, which is the Jews, English translate. Then we have to become a Jews because salvation is out of the Jews. Same thing then, right? Is that Jew is talking about physical Jewish, which is a Jews? No, Jew is the one who is in spirit, who is in the truth. So they can become a true worshiper. They are the one who possess the salvation. Then about the Jews, as Apostle Paul is very, very detailing talking about that. When we go to the Romans chapter 2, 28, it says here, for he is not a Jew who is one outwardly. So blood lineage Jew does not count. They are not the Jew. The people who lives in Israel, they said, I am Jews. Yes, in the letter, not in the spirit though. You see here? Not in the letter, in the spirit Jew, we are talking about in the Bible. That's why Hebrew, Israel, Jew, those are all talking about spiritual meaning, I am the Jew, I am the Israel. I am the Hebrew in the spirit, not in the letter. That's why he's not a Jew who is the one outwardly, nor is a circumcision that which is outward in the flesh. This does not count in the Bible. That's just a copy and shadow. He's a Jew. He's a Jew. Who are the Jew? You see here, Jew, Judaios, the Greek pronunciation. Who is Judaeus? Who is one inwardly? And circumcision is that of the heart. Then light of the gospel. God command the light. They shine in my heart. Then circumcision is happening spiritually, isn't it? To receive the knowledge of God. To receive the wisdom of God. To understand the gospel of peace. Instead of Another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel. So circumcision is of the heart. Circumcision in the heart, not in the letter, whose praise is not from man, but from God. So spiritual Jew is talking about here. That's why salvation is out of the Spiritual Jew, Jews in the spirit. Judaeus living in the spirit. Then what is the meaning of Judaeus? The name of the Judaeus, which is the meaning. I put here, Judaeus, the strong number 2453. The pronunciation is Judaeus. This is a noun masculine. And then English translate 
Jewish, which is a Jew. And then in order for us to know the meaning of Jew, I put the meaning here, hoping the emergence of existence. We need to go to the Hebrew side to understand the meaning of Jew. Eudaios in the Greek pronunciation, that is the Hebrew word, strong number 3063, Yehuda. That's the pronunciation, Yehuda. Yehuda, we can understand two different ways. I just put explanation here, 3063 right here, right? So Yehuda, the last one is the hoping, which is the grammatical terminology is the direction, hey. The second one is the dalet, which is the emergence. And then the last three here, Yehu, which means existence. So actually existence of existence is the third one. Yehu is the Yehovah. So existence of Yehovah. So hoping, emergence, exist, existence of Yehovah. That is the meaning of Jew. Another way we can understand the Yehuda is the Yada, Yada. And then as you see here, Yad is the hand, right? So the last He is the hoping, hoping hand, hoping hand. And then Yehovah, which is a Yehovah. So hoping Yehovah's hand. So Yudaios in spirit is the one Hoping hand of Yehovah. Hoping emergence of existence of Yehovah. Who are the existence of Yehovah? Jesus, right? Jesus. Jesus meaning is the Jesus, right? Jesus, which is existence of salvation. Then, hoping emergence, Jesus, existence of Yehovah, existence of salvation. That's why salvation coming out of the Jews. You have to be hope. Hoping the emergence of existence, you are hoping the hand of Yehovah. Without hoping, the salvation cannot be possessed. Salvation cannot be happened in our life. That's why we have to become the Jews, hoping the emergence of existence. That way, we are become the true worshiper in spirit, in truth. Then what is the meaning of worship? As I just mentioned in the beginning, worship without the knowledge of God is your living. Here, your living is the conversation between the woman of Samaria and Christos Jesus here. So, Christos Jesus is the son of the God. And then you are not the son of God yet, the woman of Samaria. Now is the time she is meeting to Christos Jesus here in the entire throughout the, uh, John chapter 4. Then worship has to be happened in spirit and truth. Then this lady, woman of Samaria, status is she were worshiping even she met the Christos Jesus without having the knowledge of God, right? The worship, the Greek word is the uh, proskuneo. The first word proskuneo is showing up Matthew chapter 4 verse 8. Let's go there. And then Jesus received by the received the test under the devil and Satan, the last one, third test. The devil, Satan, took the Jesus upon an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. He said to him, the devil said to Jesus, all these things I will give you if you fall down and what? 
worship me. You see here, proskuneo, worship me. If you worship me, I'll give everything that belong to the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan. For it is written, you shall worship the Lord. Then how can we worship Lord? We are not able to worship Lord until I am in spirit in the truth, right? Until I have the wisdom of God and knowledge of God, right? So Jesus said, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Then person who doesn't have a knowledge of God, they believe they are worshiped of God. Then based upon the Matthew chapter 4, here, verse 8, 9, and 10, then they are worshiping to who then? They are worship the devil. They are worship the Satan. We are coming back to here. That's why when we go to the, the John, chapter 4, uh, chapter 8, verse 44, right? Jesus said, your father is devil, right? 44, John 8, 44. You are of your father, the devil, the Satan. And the desire of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning. So how can he murder? He murdered the Eve. We just look at that 2 Corinthians chapter 11. By giving the another Jesus. Different spirit. Different gospel. By giving the knowledge, he's murdering. That woman in the beginning, from the beginning. And does not stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. He's a liar. He's not true. He's not speaking the truth. He's a liar, the father of it. Because I tell the truth. You do not believe me. Why you do not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. So people who does not able to understand Christos Jesus' speech, people who's not able to listen to Christos Jesus' word, then they are their father is the devil. They are worshiping to who? Devil and Satan. Then we have to think about it. What am I worshiping for? What is the purpose I am worshiping? It has to be two ways, isn't it? I worship the God. God worship me. It's just not one way. Because husband and wife relationship is the two way to become one relationship, right? In that day, I am in the Father, Father is in me. I am in you, you in me. When we go to the John chapter 14, verse 20. In spirit, in truth. Until that time, your father, the devil. Until devil is cast down. Cast down from my heaven, right? When is that happen? When we hear the seventh trumpet. We go to the book of Revelation, chapter 12. Great sign appear in heaven, right? Woman, who is the Maria, is about to bring forth the child whose name is Jesus. And another sign appeared in heaven. That's why Old Testament Bible, heaven is the dual. Two heavens show up. One heaven, the woman. One heaven is the, the dragon, the red dragon. And then she bore a male child. The Mary, Maria, rebellion, having the baby Jesus. It is a spiritual process, right? So war broke out in heaven. So two heavens, one sign, another sign. Heavenly war broke out. 
Mikael and his angel fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angel fought. And they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, the serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world. Who are the world? I was the world. We are the world. We are the children of the serpent and devil, Satan. Until what? Until that war broke out in heaven. Until we hear the seventh trumpet from the Mikael angel, messenger. What is the Mikael means? Who's like God? Because the serpent, the devil, and Satan is acting like a God in my heaven. That's why heaven was dual. One day through the fifth day. Who deceives me? Who? Veil the gospel, who blocked the light of the knowledge of the God. So he cast to the earth, my earth, and the messenger were cast out with him. So we were worship the serpent, devil, and Satan to possess the kingdom of the world and their glory. What is belong to the world? When we go to the fourth John, chapter 2, verse 15. Do not love the world, because world belongs to who? Devil and Satan. He is the father. He is the king of the world. When I was the world, or the thing in the world. So do not love the world or the thing in the world. If, if anyone loves the world, if anyone loves the world means they are not the true worshiper then, right? The love of the Father is not in him. All that is in the world. What is in the world? Because Matthew chapter 4, we rem I remind you, if you worship me, all these things will be given to you. The kingdom of the world and its glory, right? Then what is going to be given? Who is worshipped to the Satan and devil? All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Those are not out of the Father. They are out of the world. The world is passing away. That's why when we go to book of Revelation chapter 21, you have an earth, first heaven, first earth, passed away. First heaven, first world is based upon this world, which is the, under the guardians and stewards. Fundamental principle of this world. That world is passing away. That teaching about the flesh, loss of the eyes, pride of life. So world is passing away, the loss of it. But he who does the will of God, who is in spirit and truth, who is able to worship the God instead of worship the Satan and devil, abides forever. Then people who are looking for the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, the pride of life. They are the one who's worshipped the devil and Satan, whether you believe it or not. True worshiper crucify all these, right? That's why when we go to the James chapter 4, we go to verse 4, adulterers, adulteresses. Who are the adulterer, adulteresses? Who is not able to understand my words? Who is not able to hear my speech? Jesus say that, and then you are, your father is the devil. They are the adulterers, adulteresses. Who does not know the gospel? Who does not receive the light of the knowledge of the God? They are the adulterer, adulteresses which he 
understand who's understanding the Bible as the historical viewpoint. And they are not able to understand or entire Bible as the my salvation process. And they are mixing the knowledge. They understand the Bible as the human beings morality. Homosexual or those sin is as the morality things. That's why when we go to the Roman chapter 8, three law is talking about Apostle Paul. Law of sin, law of death, law of spirit of life. We go through seven days process through those three different laws. Until we know the law of spirit of life, which is a six and seven day law. We are nothing but whether I like it or not, we are nothing but to be called as adulterers, adulteresses. Because we are under the Babylon. Babylon is the mother of Harlot. Do you not know that friendship with the world is in mighty with God? That word, kingdom of the world and their glory, to become a friend? They are in mighty with God. Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world, make himself an enemy of God. And they are the one false worshiper. Even though they go to church, they say from their lip service, I believe God, I believe Jesus, and put the, 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 the sign in front of their, their front yard, backyard, on their, on stick, put it on the sticker on their car, thank you Jesus, all day long. I'm sorry. You are adulterers, adulteresses. Your father is the devil. Until Jesus is born inside me. Until I receive the true light. Until wisdom of God, knowledge of God is manifested inside me by hearing the seventh trumpet from the Mikhail messenger. They are nothing but to worship the Satan, devil, serpent. That's why when we go to the book of Revelation chapter 13, the famous one, many people understanding many different ways, 666. Right? And they are the one when we coming up, up there, verse 8. All who dwell on the earth. Because war broke out in my heaven, right? We just look at that. And then devil and all the serpent, they are cast down to my earth, right? Then earthly war is going through it. What is the earthly war? We go to the second, uh, second, uh, second John, uh, first John, chapter 5, verse 6, 7, 8. Trinity in the heaven, Father, Word, Holy Spirit. Trinity in the earth, blood, water, blood, spirit. So water, blood, spirit about that. We study about water baptism, blood baptism, Holy Spirit, and fire baptism, right? Then heaven, earth becomes one. Then we are not dwell on the earth anymore because our citizenship is in the heaven. We become the kingdom of heavens. But people who does not go through heavenly war, earthly war, which is my spiritual processing, those who dwell on the earth, oh, they are worship him. Who are him? Oh, dragon, beast. You see here, I stood on the sand of the sea. I saw a beast rising up out of the sea. Who lives in the sea? Dragon lives in the sea. And they are the servant of the dragons. They are the messengers. They worship the dragon. They are worshiping the beast. Who gave authority to the beast? Senior pastor gave the authority to the assistant pastor in that way. That's why when you become a new heaven and earth, sea does not exist anymore. It is, it is all dry up. Dragon and beast is all dry up in my heaven and earth. 
So verse 8 is talking about that. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. Dragon and beast. Whose name have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb? Then their name is where then? Book of death, not the book of life. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. You have to have an ear to hear. The preaching, the voice and speeching comes from the seventh trumpet from the Star Wars Bible Academy. Through learning the Greek grammar, Hebrew grammar, or entire Bible, understand from the Hebrew text, Old Testament Bible, Greek text in New Testament Bible. Then those people who worship dragon and beast, they are nothing but to having the 666. You know, when I was in the high school, people start to talk about 606 as a barcode. And nowadays, people start to talking about 666 as a the little chip that put it under your skin. Is Bible talking about those things? Bible is a spiritual book. Bible is not science book. Bible is not biology book. Bible is not diet book. Bible is not history book. Bible is not leadership book. Bible is the book of life. My salvation book. Then people who doesn't have an ear to hear, people who does not have a knowledge of God, they are nothing but to worship the beast and the dragon. That's why they are receiving the name of the beast. The name of the beast is the number of his name. And then here is the wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of beasts. It is the number of men. Number is 666. So number of men is the number of beasts. Then who are these men? Who receive the knowledge of the beast? Another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel. Man like a beast, not man like a God. Who are the men like a God? 144,000, right? Who is the man like a beast? Beast to man, 666. God man, 144,000. So that's why worship is the knowledge base. Do you have a knowledge of God? Are you in spirit, in truth? Then who are the 144,000? Who are the one written in the book of life? Like a verse 8 is talking about here. Written in the book of life of the Lamb. We can go to the Philippians chapter 4. They are the true worshiper. Therefore, my beloved and long for brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I implore you, Odia, I implore Sintike, to be of the same mind in the Lord. You have to have a same mind with the Lord's mind, the Lord's intellectual. You're talking about the mind. Mind is the pronoun. I urge you also true companion. You're talking about the true companion. If you look at right side, the King James Bible say yoke fellow. And then the 4805 is a she jigos. Yoke together. You are yoked together. What is a yoke together? If you go to the dictionary, uh, when we study about the Hebrew, I, uh, we are uh, learning about the meaning of the fourth letter, which is Alep. When two oxen are yoked together for pulling a wagon or plow, Christ is the leader, older and more experienced one who leads the other. Within the clan, tribe, family, the chief or father is seen as the elder, who is yoked to the others as the leader and teacher. So between the teacher and student, between the elder and the young, between the father and the son, that's why who are the father? Apostle Paul say that I am the father, right? To the Timothy, I betrothed, begot you in the gospel, right? Through the gospel. So father is the teacher, teacher is the father. And then they are yoked together. 
So Philippians chapter 4 here, Apostle Paul and all those people, they are yoked together. And then Jesus also inviting to the people, you who have it later, right? We can come back to here. When you go to the Matthew chapter 11, Twenty-eight. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke, right? Take my yoke, so we can yoke together. Then who are the one give you heavy laden? We can go to the Matthew chapter twenty-three, verse two. Scribes and Pharisees seated in the Moses seat. They bind the heavy burden. When you go to my blog, I put the 631 Jewish commandment. Are they keep the commandment in their way? They are just giving you heavy burden. They cannot even know. They cannot even memorize all those things. And they said to keep the commandment. All their works they do seem by man, not seen by the God. So they give the heavy laden. All them thieves, they guardians and steward and pastor, they give you heavy laden. They do not know the Bible. They do not have a full knowledge about the Bible, about seven days spiritual processing. So all you have labor or labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest, okay? Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me. Learn from me so you can, you are able to worship in spirit and truth. You are able to possess the knowledge of the God. You are not able to receive 666. You are not worshiping the dragon and the beast. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. 631 commandment is summarized to only one, right? Loving your God, loving your neighbor. It is the loving. Loving is the giving the word of God, giving the truth of God. God is love, God is word. Giving the word of God is the loving. So that person learn and rest and to do the yoke together. Philippians chapter 4. Yoke together, true companion is the yoke together. Help this woman who labor with me. Labor with me. Shin Lambano, take together. Lambano is the take, shin, together. Take together. And then labor together. You see here, labor, shinat the letter. Labor together. Where? What? In the gospel. Again, what is the gospel? Born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus happening in my life inside me. That gospel, we labor together, we work together, we help together. With the claim and also the rest of my fellow worker. You see fellow worker, shin ergos. Ergos is the work. Work together. Fellow worker is the work together in the gospel. Yoke together, work together, take together, labor together. Their names are in the book of life. They are the one true worshiper. In order to do that, two heaven has to become one. As I just said, right? World broke it in the heaven, right? So, Christos Jesus is born inside me. By receiving the spirit of his son, we went to the Galatians chapter 4, right? Now I say that the heir, as long as he's a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is master of all. He's under guardians and steward until the time appointed by the father. Even so we, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. So guardian and steward is the teaching the elements of the world. Teaching the Bible as the man's lesson. Morality book. Not the spiritually. Because Bible is not fully manifest yet. But when the fullness of the time come, God sent for his son. Born of a woman. We just look at that. Born under the law, which means God sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. God sent forth the light of the knowledge into your heart. 
crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer, no longer a slave. You are get out of the guardians and stewards. You are get out of the elements of the world. Who is under the dragon, serpent, beast. You are no longer a slave. You are a son. If you're a son, then an heir of God through Christ. They are the one true worshiper when we go to the book of Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. I saw thrones, they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw sore of those who had been beheaded for their witness of Jesus for the word of God. They are beheaded. Because we have a two heaven, two authority. The serpent's head, based upon the Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Serpent's head has to be beheaded. That exists inside me. Then who is the body of Christ? Uh, our head, the church and the Christ. Head of the church. Christ is the head of the church, right? I am the body of Christ. So because of the witness testifying to the Jesus and the word of God, they are beheaded. We are beheaded. We are crucified together with Christos Jesus. Who had not worshipped the beast or his image? Had not received his mark on their forehead, on their hand. Because our name is in the book of life. We are lock it up. The serpent, bottomless pit, serpent of war, devil and Satan. We found him. What is the thousand means? My personal human nature. Year means transformation, right? Mm -hmm. When we study the Hebrew grammar, in our Hebrew grammar, and then we look at that, right? About the Hebrew. If you go there in my Hebrew textbook, the first word, Alep, Alep, that is the thousand, right? That is first person, my personal human nature, which is ox head. So ox head needs to go to the learn. Learning process is the thousand process. Then what is the ear? When we go to the Hebrew word, the strong number ear is the Hebrew word, 8141. You see ear? Ear comes from the verb 8138. Fold, duplicate, transmute, transform, alter. So alteration. My personal human nature, thousand, year means alteration. So my personal human nature transformed to become the God's nature. That is talking about verse 4 here. You are beheaded because of the testifying to Jesus for the word of God. Then you reign with Christ because you transform to become a God's nature. That means you are Resurrected. You see here? Blessed and holy is he who part in the first resurrection. Second death has no power. They shall be priests of God, of Christ, shall reign with him thousand years. And they are the one who is true worshiper. They are the true worshiper. So that hour is coming. Verse 23, if you look at that, English translate, our is coming. You see 23 here? John chapter 4, verse 23. If you look at the right side, you see VIP. This is the indicative present. So there is no de uh, definite article. Hora, our comes. Present, present, okay? comes. When? Now. Now is the hour. The hour comes, now is the hour. Hour is now. That's why we have to become a present man, right? Has to become a present, future becomes the present. Or become the light. No darkness at all. 
that is the hour come. If that hour does not come in my life, I am not able to worship the Father in spirit and the truth. That hour has to come now. And when is now? When is present? The, the, the hour that you are hearing the seventh trumpet. That is now. That is that hour. About that one, we can go to the John chapter 5. Jesus say that. 525. Five twenty-five. Most assuredly, I say to you, hour is coming. Look at that hour is come. You see here, Erketai hora. Hour. You see VIP come. Erketai hora. We just saw that, right? Erketai hora. Same thing. Hour comes. Hour comes. Hour comes. You see, now. Now is. Hour comes and now is. Same thing, right? Jesus said that, right? When the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. That is that hour. That is now. Those who hear will live. Those who hear will live. Those who hear will have the knowledge of the God. They will be in spirit. They will be in the truth of the God. They will possess the knowledge of God. They understand the true Jesus, another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel, true gospel, the different spirit and Holy Spirit. They have the knowledge. So until the fifth day, we are dead person, first dead hour. When we hear the voice of the Son of God, that hour, we live. Go through the sixth day and seventh day. Right? And do not marvel at this, because this is a spiritual process. The hour comes, same thing, okay? You see, Eriketai Hora, hour comes in which all who are in the grave. That's why they are in dead, right? The dead will hear the voice. Those who are in grave will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life, those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. About that one, we can go to the Old Testament Bible. Daniel chapter 12 is talking to the same. At that time, the hour comes. Mikael stand up. We look at the book of Revelation, right? Heavenly world star, when you hear the seventh trumpet from Mikael messenger. The great prince who stand watch over the son of your people. There shall be a troubled time. When you hear the seventh trumpet, it is a troubled time. Because the knowledge what you learn from your previous school or church, totally different. Understanding the Bible from the Greek and Hebrew. It is the time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. At that time, your people shall be delivered. Everyone who is found in the written in the book, book of life. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth. Then over there, five, chapter 5, John is talking about dead who are grave. Here, Daniel talking about sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake. Some to everlasting life, some to shame, everlasting contempt. When you hear the seventh trumpet, salvation and judgment happening simultaneously. Whoever accepts, they will come to everlasting life. Whoever rejects, they will come to everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of firmament. Those who turn many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words until six days. Seal the book until the time of the end. 
Many shell run and throw, knowledge shall increase. So knowledge has been increased one day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day. But Bible is fully manifested. Sixth day, when you hear the seventh day messenger, Mikael messenger's trumpet from the son of the God. Then we are moving forward. We will become the true worshiper. Next class, uh, we are going to study the uh, next verse. 